After the lecture and just like getting information on um, Paul Gauguin and the show that they had in the cafe, and it's sort of being like a more like revolt against like what was the norm of like displaying art at that time. It was sort of just you know just informing us about the show and letting us know that like you know sort of any kind of creative new way of doing something was a possibility for. In the end, our display. Our, our initial plan for display was kept the same. Yeah, I mean, I guess like seeing the like the ceiling and being able to look and realizing that there could be a projector sort of helped, you know, visualize projecting a video in the space. I think it's good insight as to what their expectations are of us. Um, like for the future when we have to work with institutions, it's really helpful to know like what they expect from a proposal, um, how much they want you to adhere to your proposal, how open they are to changes and flexibility. I mean like that was like the sort of our basis for like collaborating was you know I'm a drawing major sky skies and sculpture but we're both like we work really interdisciplinary so um, you know We've both been working with video, we both do drawings, and it was sort of just an opportunity for us to work together, you know. Originally it was going to be, I was going to do the drawing, the video, but you know, like working together on both things is sort of like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we, I mean, we could have, in all respects, done this on our own, but I don't think we would have ended up ever trying to collaborate on something, so it's been interesting trying to make sure that both of our styles are represented. Well, we're doing uh, a lot of new techniques as far as editing and um, masking out layers of video and trying to put different videos together and make them overlap and have gaps in the projection that will just highlight the drawing on the wall. Yeah, I mean, it's been like a sort of a new thing, like once we found the footage, and we've been working a lot with like speed and like the duration of the film and, you know, slowing things way down and then speeding things up and sort of, you know, thinking about how speed will affect like the static image on the wall and how, um, you know, just like a static drawing on the wall, how you can incorporate movement with a moving video with that and still be able to find a balance between the two.